So we talk a little bit about you know the the different types of courage that leaders need to tap into and just ordinary people need to tap into on a daily basis, right? Is there a type of courage that you think comes easier for you? Definitely intellectual. I think from a young kid, I've always had a good keen eye, whatever my IQ is. And I don't even believe that's like a good parameter for overall intelligence, but I guess it's the best thing we have right now, the Stanford Brene. Mm -hmm. I would say my, my, my emotional IQ, my, my intellectual IQ in terms of like reading someone and fi trying to figure them out. And this goes with sales as well. I think, you know, the Grant Cardones, the Jordan Belfords mm -hmm. of the world, the Tony Robbins, they have a great emotional IQ where they can tap into someone's, you know, how the way they think and, you know, overall orchestrate and reverse engineer. How do I get them to buy this? How do I get them to think about this? And whether it's a different tonality, whether it's a different, you know, topic you're, you're referring to, whether it's you need to bring, you know, someone that you know into the mix, there's so many different ways of doing that. Mm -hmm. um, that's something I think I've always been good at. And something that I just enjoy too, is like getting someone like, for instance, like for you, if I met you at a bar and I was trying to, you know, get, I don't know, get you on LinkedIn and have coffee with you. It's like, how do I go about doing that? How do I go about like, and ultimately, you know, maybe getting a sale, maybe making a partnership, who knows, maybe, you know, hopping on and being a co-host for the podcast. I don't know. Like it's just yeah. something that's whatever I want to do. It's, I think that's one of the most important things, at least for me that I, that I recognize as one of my strengths. Um, but I think it's also in general, a, a good societal strength as well, at least Absolutely. at the top is like, sure. You might could be you know, Harvard smart and Harvard in, you know, intellect, but how are you with people? How are your, your people skills? You know, can you make people laugh? Can you tell good stories? You know, all those things are very important. And uh, if you can do that at least halfway, you know, I, I think you're pretty well off the, you know, doing good in business or at least in sales. Sure. Yeah. It all comes down to people, right? Yeah. You, if you don't have people, you don't really have a business. Yeah. You don't exactly. have people, you don't have customers. Yeah. You're all, is there a type of courage maybe that is a little more difficult for you? I mean, I'm not, that's a good question. I mean, I, this is something that I wish I would reflect a little bit more on and stuff that I, I continue to, uh, you know, on a daily basis, but courage for me is, is, um, just as a blanket statement, I think that everyone needs to have that mentality that, you know, they're, they're just a white belt in life. And even if they're a master chef, and even if they're a master engineer, there's other things that, you know, th there's four levels, really. It's like what you don't know, what you don't know, you know, what you don't know, I know um, what I don't know. And then I know what I know. And it's just those four things are, are very important to, I guess, you know, learning and, and continuing to build yourself as a human being, because it's like, you got to think about it. Let's just say, for instance, you know, me and you come up with the next brilliant app that's going to you know, change millions of lives. We solve that. We check that box off. Do I have the courage to wake up, you know, 5 a.m. like I once did to make this thing happen and do something else again? Like, is it something that I want to do is because it, it like at the end of the day, you know, you're going to be bored. You have all this money in the bank, but like, what's going to fuel you? You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause the only, only thing you're left with is time, money and spending it on all these expensive bottles and you know, all this other stuff um, is death. So it's like, what are you going to do? What else is there? So I think the courage is in finding that next thing that you want to do and accomplish that. 